For the last decades, I've traveled 230, 250 days a year. People ask, how do you do it? It's just grace for the place. I don't know how Pastor Phil and Jeanette do what they do. They have grace for that place. I don't. That's why he's never called me to babysit adults. Did I say that? So at the end of February this year, my family, we're a family ministry, my family and I led s about 72 pastors and their wives. Thank you. Is there Kleenex that goes with this too? Because if you're going to support the sinuses, they're going to need to be empty. Thank you. Seventy-two pastors and their wives from 14 nations. We celebrated the Feast of Purim. The Feast of Esther, the famous Persian Haman who was going to, thought he was going to destroy the entire Jewish people. Yes, boo, times to the 10th power. Well, where did we celebrate that? We went to Poland and we celebrated at Auschwitz. I'd never been before. I know don't think that any of the other pastors and their wives had ever been. So we went the night before we visited the camp, camps, Birkenau and Auschwitz. We told the story of Haman and his plan, where he'd come from, that he wasn't really Persian, but he was one of the leftovers. Did you know that? When King Saul didn't wipe out that nation, left some of them, the royalty, and he lost his kingdom over and the anointing because he was disobedient. And Haman was a direct descendant. And so he had that in him that he was going to return evil for what he considered to be evil. We told the story that night. Then we went to the camp the following day, camps. And we wanted to speak life where there was death. So after a day of touring, we stood by one of the original boxcars that had transported. Did you know that the first two boxcars were women only? The seed of the woman they were trying to wipe out. There's a lot of supernatural understanding in the demonic. So the first 999 who were destroyed at Auschwitz were women. We ended that day at one of the crematoria, and we stood by a boxcar. We set a table with bread and wine. There were You know, blood has a voice. That's what we 
celebrate at Yom Kippur last week that the blood of Jesus speaks over us not guilty. Mm. That blood that's sprinkled on the mercy seat inside that box are three witnesses that continued to bear witness that Israel was rebellious and sinful. The tablets, the jar of manna, the rod that, that budded. And they were constantly before the presence of the throne of God saying they're guilty, they're guilty, they're guilty, they're guilty. They break your word. They don't trust you for provision. They rebel against authority. They're guilty. Which could probably be spoken over any of us. But it continually before the presence. But one day, one Yom Kippur, Jesus, the great high priest, went into the Holy of Holies, not with the blood of bulls and goats, with his own blood. And he silenced those voices. His blood spoke over us, not guilty. Hallelujah. We declared that that day. We took communion together. We prayed. We prayed for the peace of Jerusalem. We prayed for the salvation of Israel and the Jewish people. We we prayed for each other. And then we, we took the cup to remember the martyrs who were destroyed there. Their lives were taken from them. We poured that cup out on the ground, the blood that speaks of a better covenant. We left there. I was supposed to go to Jerusalem from Poland to Jerusalem for a conference. My family was coming, our pastor, and many of the people who were with us. That night, we got the word, Israel is closed. I was supposed to go from Jerusalem to Guatemala to lead worship, and the president of Guatemala was going to be there. And we got the word, Guatemala is closed. So we changed all of our reservations and at great expense, flew back to New York before the United States closed the very next day. The very next day, the border was closed and we would have to spend 14 days in New York quarantining. We got home. <clears throat> and from that night, my my larynx, my voice, was burned. I see now that it was direct connection with that crematoria, with that burning. While I was sleeping, acid was climbing up my throat and severely burned my vocal cords to the point where I couldn't sing. Some of you may have been following us with this Worship Wednesday that we've been doing ever since. And the first time I shared this song on Worship Wednesday, I sounded like Kermit the Frog. A horse couldn't, no, no volume, no control. I squeaked through it because it was a significant statement wrote this song during this time and for months couldn't sing. I finally went to the doctor. They stuck a scope up my nose, down my throat, and the, do and the doctor said, sing something. I'm paying you. And they took video and then showed me the video afterwards of my larynx, my vocal cords all blistered red, bright red like a fire truck. And all the muscles around it severely swollen. He said, well, this is why you can't sing. And he told me why it was happening. And he said, 
if you're a good boy and do what I tell you, this can improve, but it will take some time. He told me then three months, but it's now been six months, and I was there last week, and he said another three months. But this song, written during those days, is from Psalm 103. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all, <clears throat> all that is within me, bless his name. And then there's one line that we threw in there. <laughs> Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, let every breath I breathe be one of praise. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let all that is within me bless his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let every breath return to you his praise. For by the blood of Jesus I have been redeemed. Surely you're my master and my friend. Higher than the heavens, you have lifted me, and I will sing again. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, let all that is within me bless his name. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, let every breath I breathe return his praise. For by the blood of Jesus I have been redeemed. <laughs> Surely you're my master, you're my friend. Higher than the heavens you have lifted me. And I will sing again I will sing again bless the Lord I will bless the Lord I will bless the Lord I will bless the Lord all the days I will bless the Lord. You are good, you 
there. And I, I learned something in this. Yes, he's my healer. Yes, he's my deliverer. Yes, he's faithful. But no matter what I'm experiencing no matter where I find myself in what situation if I will simply declare the Lord is good the Lord is good the Lord is good it helps me in the commandment that says do not take the name of the Lord your God in vain ooh you see, I had always thought that that was something that came out of my mouth. You could say GD, and, and that was taking the name of the Lord in vain. But I've learned that taking his name in vain is misrepresenting him to a world that doesn't know who he is. And so if my response to something that I feel is um, an attack or, or something, I don't deserve this or whatever it is. If I will simply say the Lord is good, I'm bearing his name properly. I'm not assigning something evil. He didn't do it. You see, I, I say this thing that's attacking me right now, he didn't do it. And I'm not going to blame him for something he didn't do. Because every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of heavenly lights. He doesn't change like shifting shadows. I'm his son. He doesn't beat me to teach me something. He doesn't put COVID on my body to say, okay, now faith your way through that faith man and I say to the world he's good his mercy endures forever I don't assign evil to the one who is good above all good I don't tell other people you can't trust him because one day he's like this and then the next day this is what he'll do to you he didn't do it. And so why did I say that that's for you? Because some of you, it was somewhere around April. I was starting to think, and I even said it out of my mouth, I guess I'm not going to sing again. I'll just preach or teach because I can, I can handle that. And I guess I'm just not going to sing again. I even said it with my own mouth. And my wife, who's been trusting the Lord for a malady in her body. Let's see, Joel is 35 years old. For 35 years. She said, don't you dare say that. 
He created you to do this. Don't you dare say you're not going to do what he created you to do. And her thing is, she's going to walk again free from this lymphedema. Maybe for some of you it's, I will trust again. I will love again. I will pray again. I will dance again. I will hear again. I will see again. I will breathe again. I'll run again. Whatever it is that you know that you were created to be and do, that gift is for you tonight. And say it out of your mouth. And it goes like this. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his name. Sing that with me. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Let all that is within me bless his name. Sing it again. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Let all that is within me bless his name. Then it goes, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, let every breath I breathe be one of praise. Try that. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, let every breath I breathe be one of praise. For by the blood of Jesus I have been redeemed. Sing that. By the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed. Surely you're my master and my friend. Surely you're my master. Surely you're my master and my friend. Higher than the heavens, you have lifted me. Try that. Higher than the heavens, you have lifted me. This is your line. And I will again. I'm going to sing that again, and you've got a word that goes in there. Higher than the heavens, you have lifted me. And I will again. Higher than the heavens, you have lifted me. Come on and sing it. And I will again. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let all that is within me bless his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let every breath I breathe be one of praise. For by the blood of Jesus I have been redeemed. Surely you're my master, you're my friend. And higher than the heavens you have lifted me. And I will again. Say it again. And I will again. Once more. And I will again. Come on and stand to your feet. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Come on, open your mouth and just bless the Lord. I will bless you, Lord. 
I will. 